Once upon a time, there was an old woman who lived all alone. Her husband had passed away, and she kept a shrine to remember him in her house. Every night, she would put her hands together to pray before the shrine. But she didn't know any Buddhist sutras to recite, so all she could do was bow in silence. Until one day, a man showed up at her door. He was dressed like a monk, but in reality was a scammer looking for a place to stay for the night. The woman, not knowing the truth, let him in and made him dinner. The scammer happily ate the meal and agreed to help the woman when she asked him for one small favor. The woman wanted the man to teach her a sutra so she could recite it to her husband. Because the man was not really a monk, he didn't know any sutras, but it would be too suspicious to deny the woman's request. The man became nervous. His mind raced as he desperately tried to think of something, of anything, to say. Then, he saw a mouse. He began his made-up sutra. Uh, a little mouse. Taking a stroll? The woman repeated the line. Next, the man saw the mouse look into a hole in the wall and continued with the next line. A little mouse peeks through the hole. The mouse left the hole and let out a small squeak. So the man continued, A little mouse will squeak and scurry. As the mouse left the room, he finished with the last line, A little mouse leaves in a hurry. The woman was so grateful that the man had taught her this new sutra and promised to recite it every night. The next morning, the man departed and, over time, forgot about the old woman and the events of that night. A few months later, the man grew tired of his monk scam and resorted to crime. One day, he decided to rob a house, but as he got close, he heard a woman's voice say, a little mouse taking a stroll. He was shocked to hear this. Could it be that the woman heard him coming? He peeked through a hole in the wall and heard the woman say, A little mouse peeks through the hole. In shock, he let out a gasp and then heard, A little mouse will squeak and scurry. At this, he started to sneak away. When he heard the next line, a little mouse leaves in a hurry. Now certain that the woman was on to him, he ran away as fast as he could. Once he had gotten farther away, he looked back at the house and suddenly remembered that night many months ago when he taught the woman that mouse sutra. Upset that he almost robbed someone that had showed him so much kindness, he walked away, his head down in shame. Sometime after that night, the man returned to the woman's home, this time as a real monk. The woman greeted him in the doorway and invited him in, but he refused and said that he only came to tell the woman thank you for her kind heart. He then went back to his temple and lived out a peaceful and honest life. The woman watched him walk away into the distance and went back inside to recite her sutra for the day.